Hello, mini nukes, and welcome back to Death Stranding. It's been a little while. I'm back from my Christmas break now, so not to worry. I'm going to continue with Death Stranding and we're going to finish this damn game no matter how long it takes. Um, so in the last episode, I think, yeah, we had the um, Higgs gave us a bomb and we disposed of it. And I think once we've disposed it, that's as far as we got. So um, I think we're doing something for Fragile now or we're going back somewhere. I don't know. I don't remember. All I remember was there was a bomb. It was super stressful to <laughs> go and get rid of the damn thing, but we've done it now. So... We're just going to continue. What are we meant to do here? Deliver all nine containers of emergency provisions. Deli de uh, deliver both sewing kits. Oh. Um. Right. Yeah, because we still have our stuff on us. Thank God. <laughs> um. Okay, so... Nope. I'm forgetting buttons already. My goodness, that's not good. This is what, two weeks of no games does to you, you forget everything. So, um, so you need the sewing kits. What is that? That's where the provisions are going. Why are there X's on them? I don't get it. Why are there X's? <clears throat> um, that is where we're going because it's, yeah, deliver all nine containers of emergency provisions. Does it have X's on it because that's the last time that I went there was... Oh, no, maybe just the stuff is not available. Private room, fragile jump, unavailable. Is it because I already visited it? Or that specific um, city just doesn't allow you to use the stuff there? I don't know. Because I went to that place without it being a place that I had to go to yet, so I wasn't allowed to use the stuff. So maybe it's just saying that from the last time I, I went there, I guess. Uh, but we'll go there first, since um, I'd rather get rid of this, and then, and then yeah, I just continue from there. So... Yeah, I think that makes sense. Likes received. Use your generator. Oh shit, yeah. Other players are pleased with you. 1,756 likes. Holy shit. <laughs> Can I see how many likes? I have 12,164. Wow. It was because it's been so long. People were probably using all, like the stuff that I laid down. And, like the, the bridge is probably the main thing because I put it in a, in a pretty useful area. But holy shit. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's get in you. Gosh, I feel like I'm I'm gonna right forget on. everything and <laughs> ride on. Okay, so this way. Okay, here we are. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express. Make delivery. These sewing kits are probably really ruined. <laughs> Uh, all cargo required is ready to be delivered. The order can be completed. I know. Let me deliver it, please. It's probably not going to be delivering pleased. cargo. <laughs> wow! Great, you made it. You did a bang up job by not banging it up on the job. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, A, that's what I thought. I mean, to be honest, I, I took longer than, than I should have, I think. So is this one, do, do these, do they normally time how long it takes for you to deliver the stuff? I don't know. I think so. Okay. Oh, you've been awarded the title of mover as a proven porter. Many now will turn to you for assistance. Well, shit, that means more stuff. <laughs> uh, you have achieved bridge link grade 20. Your sync level with other players has increased by 
You can now make more strand contracts. Okay. Interesting. Period for which you can send likes has been increased to six seconds. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you make it official? Whenever I mention no. your name to my partner, he gets all excited and starts talking about how much he wants to meet you. He's pretty interested in the chiral network too, totally on board with it and everything. But I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around it. I guess what I'm saying is that I'm okay with trying it out, just without any of the extra strings, if that's an option. If it is, then... Would you mind doing the honors? Oh my god, I thought she was gonna make me do more stuff. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Stuff. Okay. Sweet. Oh. Sam. Sam Bridges. Uh, welcome to our summer home by the falls. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks for making the trip. I've always wanted to meet you. I know what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head, or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> that explains why he's called cosplayer. <laughs> well, both. Actually. The Otter's a member of the Weasel family. I have weasels in my family, but enough about my brother. <laughs> Man, you are tough. Hey, did you know that otters can survive without land? Oh yeah, they eat, sleep, even give birth all in the water. The only thing they can't do in the water is drown. <laughs> good. Such good swim swimmers, they... Ah, okay. Wow. You laugh about as much as this guy. Hey, by the way, you should have this. It'll help you on your way. Yeah, don't worry about me. I've got an otter one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, otter one? That's pretty good. Come on. Oh, man, you're the only audience I've had in like 12 years. Do I get to wear that? The cosplayer wishes to express her gratitude. Her? The first lady? But I thought it was the other dude since he's already dressed up, unless she's the one who puts it on him. She has given you an otter hood. By the way, that it is Conan O'Brien! by the hand of my cosplay partner. <laughs> and she's amazing! It's triple stitched. That's got silk. She's incredible. Wear it and you too can ride the river rapids without fear. <laughs> Unless you're afraid of looking too sexy. <laughs> oh, right? Really? Still nothing? Don't be creepy, you know Raconan, Fine. please. <laughs> Just go. Just go, okay? Yeah, and make the river your friend. That'll be fun. Yeah, I was just... New order available. I was Please just looking at him. Terminal for further information. Oh, I, I was looking at him with when he's. Whoops. Why is that flashing? Okay. Yeah, I was just looking at him um, when he was talking with his with the other thing on his head. I was like, that weirdly looks like Conan O'Brien. As soon as he takes it off, but you could tell by the hair. So <laughs> that's interesting that they got him in this game. Weapons restrictions. The clock keeping on. <laughs> Ooh. Someone peed around here. <laughs> so what does that mean? Oh. Can I not? Mm. Can you get back to my truck? There we go.
now we can go back. Let's roll. Oh boy. Nope, not that. No, this is not good. I don't know why it won't turn the way that I... Nope! This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> oh, truck, what are you doing? Am I just stuck? Oh boy, Anybody okay. Hear me? Wrong, wrong button. Um, I want to turn around. My god, let me turn around, please. My trike! Oh, my trike. <laughs> oh, don't get stuck on these. Come on. I'm gonna run out of juice just trying to maneuver this thing. Can we go up this thing? Please. Is there an easy way to get up? No, definitely not. There's no way. It's a generator, I think. Oh, this is not fun. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. Nope. Uh, what can't you do? Drive, apparently. <laughs> it's almost running out for me just trying to get out of this place. Oh my god. Oh, this is not funny. I can't even. <laughs> I'm gonna rage so hard. I'm gonna rage so much. Okay. Just gonna revert. Revert my save. <laughs> yes, load. Oh no, not load, not not that. Load the latest save data, yes. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> I I get that I'm on a I'm on a a, a pretty big incline, but still you know restrictions lifted. Cars, trucks, they do move against, you know. Wait. Is that someone else's truck? I just realized that. That's someone else's. But yeah, going up the hill shouldn't be so hard for that thing, because it's a bloody truck! Oh, get me up, please. It's a truck that's bullshit. Ugh. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was weird. Oh, don't be stupid, please. Okay. Nope. See, it won't. It won't turn. It won't turn. Oh my god, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. I really don't get it. <laughs> I really don't. See, look, I'm, look at the wheels. The wheels are going that direction. And it's just going forward. Holy hell. Was that really that difficult? Why? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
There we go. Now all this maneuvering with my thumb is not good because I cut my thumb the other day and the plaster is not helping and putting it on the analog stick isn't helping, so... Um, okay. Should be fine now. Oh, great. Time fall. Wait, time fall. There aren't gonna be any BTs around here, are there? There better not be. I'm gonna be pissed <laughs> if there are. I think we'll be fine. I hope. Yeah, I know that's fine. I have a, I have a thingy. I have a, I can build a generator if I need to. What's that over there? I'm watching. I'm watching. Who is that? Um, that's not the right button. That's where I'm going. I, ideally, I'd like to. Be on some kind of power grid, maybe maybe that's something that charges battery. That should give me power, right? Yeah. Oh, we're here, we're right here. It looks a lot further away. We were so close. I guess I'll just take it in. Footwear condition poor. Replacement is advised. Battery yeah, no. Please charge vehicle. Yes, I know. <sighs> Thanks for letting me know. Jeez. Uh, whoa, whoa! What, what is going on here? So we need that, 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 and we need that. Is that everything? I think so. Make delivery. Yes. I don't know what the condition it is in, but yeah. <laughs> We should be okay, I hope. Great to see you, man. You don't know how much we've been looking forward to this. A lot of people hurting here. Gotta start with those who need it most. Given this quantity, everyone ought to get a share. We really appreciate it. S for awesome. I won't break. Interesting. Uh, the following new hologram data. Music. Bidding goodbye with. Skilled mover, A. Hey. Keep doing what you do best to convert more people to your cause. Okay, sweet. You've reached cargo condition grade 20. It will now be harder for you to lose consciousness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. So is it true the chiral network is finally becoming a reality? That's right. I can't believe it. I really can't. It feels like a dream almost. If it's not a dream, then yes. Yeah. We want to be part of it. 
Oh, we did like a whole zigzag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Handgun. Assault rifle. Grenade. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, new interview data acquired. The situation after the first Death Stranding incident. No blue in the inverted rainbow. Maybe I should read that. Uh, BT signs. Not good. I don't think we could have survived without outside assistance. The chiral network could make a huge difference. Make repairs more manageable. It could help us finally get back on our feet. You've given us a gift more precious than you know. When we lost Middle Knot City, it felt like there'd be no end to the violence. I woke up every day thinking it might be our last. Yet, here we are. By the grace... Yeah, well... Let's just say I don't believe in miracles or luck. Hell no. I believe in people. And it was people that saved us. Just like you did today. Now it's our turn to pick up the pieces and do the same for others. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta get this to everyone. We really appreciate it. Good work, Sam. I'll see that your supplies are ready and waiting. I suppose I don't need to tell you to take care when you come fetch them. Oh shit. <laughs> Handgun, assault rifle, grenade, blood bag. Hell yeah. Alright. Alright. <laughs> so. Okay, lethal anti personnel weapon. So it's lethal. So what happens if I hit a mule with it? <laughs> assault rifle, lethal anti personnel weapon. Hmm. Grenade. I mean, cool. I guess we'll take all of this. Carry on back. Carry on back. Grenade. Blood bag. Place in utility. Oh, wait, are we not full? Yeah, we're full. Okay. Um. Holy shit, a blood bag takes up that much space? My god, why? Um, they're all in good condition, so... Can I put it in a private locker then? We could load onto the vehicle. No, um, attached to suit? No, I can't. No, I can't put it in there. Why does it take such a massive thing? Yeah, they could just fit in the bag so easily. That's dumb. <laughs> wow, thanks. Um, I want to place it in a private locker or something. Auto arrange. Okay, that's good, I guess. Sam, Amelie's connection just dropped. We've been rooting her calls through the old system. Must be a problem with the lines. I'll look into it. Let's just hope it's nothing more serious. Sam, I'm detecting a chiral spike. Right in your vicinity. Oh, boy. These numbers are off the charts. This might explain the sudden service interruption. Perfect timing. Whatever's causing it could pose a threat to the Knot cities. Get out there and investigate. I'd rather not. Take a look outside. Is this where we're gonna go from episode 3 to episode 4? That'd be nice. <laughs> um, oh my 
I guess I'm gonna go outside. Beginning scan. Footwear condition poor. Replacement is advised. Um, using firearms. That better not be a prompt because I need to use them, or I don't know, maybe it's just telling me information. <laughs> okay. Yeah, probably just telling me stuff. What is going on? Episode 4, I knew it. Unger, what? Oh, baby. Why is my stuff everywhere? I'll take that, can I? Ooh, no. Uh, can I crouch for a second? Can I take care of BB real quick? <laughs> I know this is not the time and place right now, but I need to soothe him. Oh, I don't know if I should be doing this. It's okay, baby! It's okay! I don't know if this is the right time to be doing this. Okay. Okay, stop soothing, baby. Left bag empty. Wait, what? Why? Okay, now I can now I can grab it, I guess. Oh no, wait, I don't want it in my bag. Wait. Can I can I check the menu? Yeah. <laughs> can I put it in the in my yes. Oh, it's really I uh, fine. 
That's fine. I'll just carry it. Whatever. That's cool. Um. <laughs> I'm being shot at. Oh, that's why I'm being shot at. I'm being shot at, that's why. Ooh. Okay, we're okay. I don't know where the hell I'm meant to be going. Can I scan? Okay. I'm just... I don't know. Oh. Oh, hello. Weird tank thing. I don't know where I'm meant to go here. I have no idea. I'm just following this thing. What's going on? What is going on? Ooh. Okay. I don't like where this is going. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Find a way to escape the battlefield. Okay, that we've done that. that asshole anyway? Um, I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Wait, what? Opening equipment. Okay. Um. Can use one of the lethal ones, I guess. Um. Maybe start off small. I think handgun, maybe, and then when I'm used to that, I can switch. Oh, I just take it out of the thing like that, huh? Nope. Nothing. Take another one of those. Remember what? What am I meant? What am I remembering? I'm gonna take another grenade. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh boy! I guess I'm meant to be shooting them, right? Um. Yeah, I suppose. Do I aim for the head? I don't know, they're like dead. Does it matter? I don't know. Oh, oh, fire. Nope. No, you don't. I mean, it's not hurting them, so I don't know if I should be shooting them, so... I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, guys. Oh no you don't. Ah. Reloading! Okay, maybe it's just not very effective, so no, that's not what I want. Um No, change the thing. I don't wanna I, I don't wanna equip any of these. There we go. Let's see if that makes a difference. I doubt it. Let's try. Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, oh you little bitch! Running! <laughs> oh boy. Is 
kill that. I would have. Oh. oh, there we go. That's, that's a bit more effective. Why did it just slow down like that? Over here. Oh, I'm being shot at big time. <laughs> Am I dead? I'm gonna die. Am I gonna die? Wait. Can I heal somehow? Equip? I'm so confused. Equip? Can I have some more blood for these? I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm sorry for the levels, good. <laughs> I maybe need to use one of my grenades at some point. Nope. Nope, turn around, Sam, turn around. Oh, is that sliding? Oh boy. Where's Mads? Can you shoot that son of a bitch? Nope. Blood bag empty. Okay, cool. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yoink. What you mean? Shut up! Is on him. Oh boy. Oh, I love the sliding. I think it's great. He has like weird things surrounding him. I don't know. We need reinforcements. Oh no, you don't. Forward. Nope. You don't need none of that. Lightening your load, empty blood bags, use weapons, etc. Okay. Um, let's. I hear you saying BB. <laughs> Is there anything that we can offload? Yeah. Um. Are we used all of those? Holy shit. Um, offload. Offload. <laughs> Offload! Holy hell, we really use all of them? Wait, it says use. I don't know what... I mean, does 0% damage, but... Did I... Have I used them all? Container damage. Amount remaining. Zero. Oh, okay, no, so I have used them. Yeah. Not carried. Oh yeah, those are the ones that I already had. That's right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh boy. We need more blood bags. There's one. I don't know where you are, but you're a piece of shit. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I can't remember. Good. Where is he? This hurts my thumb. Dead end. Ah, oh, this really hurts my thumb. I don't know, and I don't want to know. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Mads. Can I place my utility power chest, please? Uh, no, cancel that. There we go. Auto use and auto replacement. Okay, I, I don't know what that means. I can't really read that. Okay. Oh, there's another one over there that I can. Is that a shotgun? Holy shit. Can I take that? No way. Um, 
Holy hell, yeah, I mean, that's probably a suicide mission, but... <laughs> yeah, I'll just keep a hold of my regular gun. Where is he? I don't get it, where is he? Am I just running away from him and I'm not realizing it? Oh, I gotta stop doing that. There we go. Maybe it's this way. Maybe I need to just follow the Audra deck. Remember. Remember. Nope. Yep, he's close. Yeah, maybe I'm meant to follow him. Oh, okay. Is that on it? I can't tell. Oh, hello. You, you should be dead. That's not funny. Oh, maybe that means I killed one. That's why it slows down. Oh boy, this is where I need my grenade! <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Do I have any equipped on me right now? No. Oh wait, there's a second page, that's right. Oh boy. Need to- nope, don't get stuck in that. Okay, just think for a minute. Think for a minute. Um. Can't aim with this thing. I have nothing in that. Need to run. Okay. Okay. Use the other one. Open fire. I'd rather you didn't. Excuse me. Oh gosh, these guys take so much to die. Oh shit. Die, maybe. Does it not automatically refill? Equip? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I need to equip it. Whoops! Oh, you ass. God, I hate aiming with this thing. It sucks. So where is he? Him up. I'd rather you don't. Get back, Get back out, out there. there. Where's he? I need to shoot him. This is taking forever. Disengage. Running, you bitch. Oh boy, oh boy. Woo. Just uh, I need another grenade, yes. Place it right there. There we go. 
this is somewhat stressful. Um, that's empty. Uh, I could use my shotgun, I suppose. Oh, he just did. What did he just do? <sighs> Stress. <laughs> okay, um, put that in my utility pouch. We can offload this. Offload that. Offload that. Anything else? No, I think we're good. Okay. Oh we need, we need reinforcement. Nope. Bad, bad, bad. Where did I just. Oh, I came from there. Wait, do I have anything equipped right now? Yes, equip that. Baby. Nope. Oh, the shotgun that beat. Oh. oh, he's this way, isn't he? Remember. Remember. Can I kill him already, please? That'd be much appreciated. I don't know, but that's what I'm trying to find out. I can't see with my cargo in the way. Closer to him. Maybe it's a bad idea. No, other way, other way, other way. No point. No. Um. Yes. Still there. Time retreat. Retreat. Why does he do that? Can I just kill him already? Great. That's empty. We'll offload that. And we'll offload that. Oh my goodness, this is nuts! <laughs> How do I kill him? Well, unless I just keep shooting him until it does something, I guess. Okay, we got this, we got this! Oh, I gotta stop doing that. Oh, it's hurting my thumb using the reinforcements. Stick. So I got a shotgun and a handgun. There, there, there. I don't like that sound. Oh, maybe this shows where he went. Oh yeah, it does. That would be where he went, right? Oh, that's so useful. You don't get in my way like that. Get 
Did I do good? I don't know. Oh boy. Did I do it? Goodness. <laughs> Find the mysterious man. Okay, sorry. I did it. Okay. Just had to keep shooting him. of damage. <laughs> it's a lot of blood. Took me 15, almost 16 minutes. Yeah. Would have not taken so long if I, <laughs> if I had just seen where his footsteps led to, to him. I didn't, I didn't notice that to begin with. B. That's okay. That's better. It's better than a C, I guess. Plus, I don't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> So Mads has the same scar, the plus sign scar on his stomach that Sam does. So that's interesting. BB. Um. Right. Interesting. the distribution center at the storm blinked out just like that chiral density dropped almost as fast i got caught in the storm and i was in a war zone you've been daydreaming sam comms were only down for a second no it was much longer than that yeah 16 it minutes was a soldier he tried taking my bb if you say so <laughs> a little one can vouch for me Sam, it's been less than a minute since we last spoke. I can't be right. I was there for for hours, it felt like. Maybe you should rest a bit. Never mind. Coming to you. It's a shame I can't meet you halfway. Yeah, I know. You kid, right? Be careful, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's been a while since I've had company. Hey, what about her, her like whole situation? I, I I think it was briefly mentioned um, before, but I, I don't remember. A desperate plea for a second pizza pie. He wants more pizza? Sam, proceed to Mama's lab. Mama was part of the Cupid R&D team. However, from the start, she had concerns about its long-term viability. Felt Cupid's had fundamental flaws, which might explain the strange phenomenon you experienced and the spike in chiral density. You should pay her a visit. See what she has to say. All right. Um... 
that was interesting. Um, let's actually check some of the mail that we received because we've, we've had a lot of mail. Oh, oh my goodness. Delivery for a prep. Oh, that's got, that's written in yellow. Um, oh, it was the Carol Artist stuff, right? We got married. How are you holding up, Sam? You must have walked more than a thousand miles by now. Try not to let it get, get to you. I'm sure it must be lonely work. Well, anyway, I wanted to get in touch and tell you that, well, we got married. I know, I know, who gets married in this day and age, right? But through the chiral network, we got in touch with a priest, and we said our vows, and that was it. Silly, maybe, but it seems to have brought smiles to a few faces. So thanks for making it possible. We owe you more than we can say. <laughs> That's cute. Carol artist's mother. Please look out for them. Dear Sam, wonderful news. My daughter's getting married. Oh, though you've probably been wondering, we're not related at all. I've never even been married, let alone had any kids. I took her in five or so years back after her parents died. She could barely speak a word of English. Her parents had been Japanese. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> but we spend, but but we managed in our in our own way. It's funny, until the moment we met, I thought I was destined to live out my life all alone. But as soon as I laid eyes on her, that changed. I knew in my heart that I had to protect her. Make sure no one ever hurt her. Though I ended up doing that myself by being too overprotective in the end. I tried to make up for it. My daughter's leaving the nest at last, and I couldn't be happier for her. All I can do now is pray and hope for the best. And uh, I'd be awful gri- I'd be awful grateful, that sounds weird, awful grateful if you could look in on her and her husband from time to time, just to make sure they're doing okay. Interesting. Um, why is that still got a little exclamation mark next to it? He wants a second pizza though. Middle Knot said he got nuked, what? Hey, catch up. <laughs> Dear Mr. Sam Bridges, it is I, Peter Eng Englert, <laughs> the world's foremost connoisseur of the delicious pizzas you so faithfully deliver. Though my impud impudence? Impudence? Impudence would would shame the very devil himself. I regret I must in entreat you to bring us another of these delectable dishes, this time from South Knot City. I'm expecting company, a sweet couple of whom I am in intensely fond. They insisted that they be allowed to take the air, but with the wilderness being so very dangerous, I refuse to entertain the thought. Alas, while we were, while we would be remaining indoors, I am incapable of, of preparing anything but the most base and disagreeable cuisine, and so I must place myself at your mercy yet again, lest the poor dear starve. <laughs> Well, I have already, I am very much aware, gone far beyond the bounds of common decency in making this request. I must compound my sins with a stipulation. The pizza in question must be topped with the bacon of incomparable... Right, yeah, that's the... Um, I'm not even going to try pronouncing that, but... Um, yeah, that's... That's the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> um... Okay, so he wants another pizza delivered. I suppose I could do that. Depends on how far he is, though. Excuse me. Um, I guess we can go and see Mama since she's not that far away in this episode and then I can end it there when I see her. Where is she? She's just over there, so... I can take my truck along, I guess, and stop by her. Plus, there's a generator, so... Footwear condition four. Replacement is advised. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, it didn't even charge. Oh, I should have put it in the garage, didn't I? Where's the nearest generator? There's one right here. Placement is advised. Battery low. Please charge the. Hey. 
Oh, it's all my stuff. I was wondering where all my stuff was. Right over there, so. The watchtower. So where's the generator? Hmm. Oh, it's right next door. Oh yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Idiot. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. No, I want to like it. I want to give it a like. Okay. All right then. Now oh, it's raining. That's great. Hi. Full charge. Sweet. Okay, so she should just be right. There we go. She in that thing? See it from him. Uh, I don't know. This is a oh, trike. Here we go. <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> Glad you made it. Is that a BT baby? <laughs> Episode five? Mama, oh, okay, that was that was quick. <laughs> Much quicker than episode She's three. Hungry. What the? Down. 
Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. It's not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. Interesting. So about the supercell. Do you think the grown-ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. That's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times. HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum, but with a little effort, they should be able to figure out where you were sent. Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more chirelia. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? <laughs> Maybe. That's that's great. <laughs> or worse, we cause another death stranding. Oh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. That's that's just wonderful. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Great. Crisis averted. No, crisis <laughs> not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. Yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right, I gotta take a Cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared. Look at her. Maybe the other side wants her back. Or maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. You want to tell me what happened? She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. 
Then the terror set us. under the rubble. Nothing to do with wait. And wait. Ah. Felt like forever. But no one came. Place I had air and water. Instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. All right. When the time felt stopped, my baby started to cry. She cried, cried, cried. Her life was the price I had to pay to survive. She saved me. ever since. But she's a BT. The ties that bind her to this place bind me too. You could say I've never really been discharged. And you're okay with that? I mean, you know she's gone. You want to live your life in the shadow of the dead? Come on. <laughs> you, of all people, you chose the dead over the living. Why else would you be here? I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already believe me in my sleep. Mm -mm. Uh, a bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. There. All done. I want to run a test. Mama, are you? Wait, what? Did I miss something? I'm sorry, Sam. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But it's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there.
Am I missing something? Okay. Did she just touch him? The guy who was afraid of being touched by people? And he said that, you know, she was a bit cold. And then he was like, are you... And he didn't finish the thing, so... She's cold. She touches him, which then prompts him to ask something, which to me implies that she's dead? <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm overthinking this a little bit, but that's what my initial thought was, so I'm just gonna stick with it for now. Um, again, if you know this, don't say anything. I'm just, I'm just, you know, piecing things together. I'm just, I'm just speculating, that's all. Because obviously, don't, I, I don't want to know that. If that's a spoiler, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Um, but that's just the first thing that pops into my head. So, yeah, I, I don't know. But then that wouldn't make sense because she, I mean, they found her. So, I mean, how can she be dead yet? still be a person, look alive and everything. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. But then again, this game doesn't make sense and none of it will until the end, I think. So, I don't know. I'm just speculating. It, it might sound crazy, me thinking that maybe she's dead, but that that's, I suppose with this game, that's not entirely bizarre. It's the first thing that came into my head, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. But yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, but this is great. We got we got through lots of stuff. Um, well, not a huge amount of stuff, but already we've we've gone through. Um, we went on to episode four and now episode five, which is great. So that means the game is beginning to move along now, and yeah. Um, so that whole thing with Mads was very very strange. We see that he's got the same scar that Sam does. So that that has to be some kind of connection of some sort. I mean, yeah, I don't know. So maybe whatever Mads is, Sam also is, but Sam just doesn't know or he doesn't remember something. I don't know. Might explain why he didn't remember his mom being the president. So yeah, maybe there's some just some things that we don't know yet and they won't be revealed until until the end, but we're starting to get clues and things and piece things together, I suppose, or start to piece things together in our heads. And then, and then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm being ridiculous by saying some of these things or not, but I kind of expect it from this game because it is really bizarre and weird. And, and yeah, I just, I, I just don't think we'll, we'll, we'll find all that out until the end anyway. So Plus, I think that's what people said, that it goes from not making any sense to when you reach the end, everything makes sense. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep speculating and trying to piece things together. And in the end, we'll see if I was right or if I was completely wrong or, or yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm really curious to get to the end now and find out what the hell is going on and why everything is the way it is. I'm still a bit confused on the timeline of everything because she said time fall. That that rain was the time fall, but the time fall ages everything. But yet she was drinking it, so why does the time fall now age everything? What was different back then? Did, I, I, I don't know, did something happen between that point where she was about to give birth and then later down the line something happened? The whole, like, Death Stranding thing? Because she said another Death Stranding. So that's obviously happened before. I'm sorry if I've missed or I'm forgetting some key information that was probably presented to us before at the start of the game, but it is a lot to take in. And especially since I've gone away for two weeks, things tend to slip my mind. So I don't know if I'm missing some key information or anything. If you guys know, do let me know, but not if it's a spoiler. If it's something that I have seen in the game before, or I've played up to that point, any information that I'm missing or any kind of recap, go ahead and tell me in the comments. But if it's anything spoilery that I haven't encountered yet or that I haven't 
come across that information yet, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I just, I just want to know if I'm missing these bits of information because I haven't gotten to those bits yet, or if I've just simply forgotten and someone needs to remind me. That's basically what I mean. <laughs> oh, this game. It's really making me think. Really making me use the old noodle, so. Which is good. I like that. I like, I like to not really be challenged, but I guess have games really make me think. Like Life is Strange. Life is Strange really got me thinking about things and and questioning decisions and what I should do, what I shouldn't do, that kind of thing. So I, I like when games do that, make you think, make you think about choices and think about the future and what things are going to lead to. So that's always fun. But I hope you have all enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. Um, but that whole part with Mads and shooting him and everything, my goodness, that was hectic. But we got there in the end. I probably would have done that a lot quicker and with a lot more skill <laughs> if I wasn't just so, you know, like deer in the headlight situations. <laughs> so yeah, um, but that was fun. And I like that we, we're getting, getting through the story a bit more and seeing some new characters. And may I just say, Mama is incredibly beautiful. Like she is so pretty, that character. So I'd, I'd wonder what she looks like in real life as well, but damn, she's very pretty. <laughs> Just want to give a big shout out to Justin, Niall and Chaos Might for being amazing patrons. Thank you so, so much for your support. It really helps me and the channel out a lot. And if you guys would like to do the same, the link to my patron is in the description. If you enjoyed this episode, nuke that like button. And if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay rad, my friends. Bye!